annual reports. Boring, right? Annual reports may seem like a drab, boring document, but with the right design, they don't have to be. In fact, a well-created, well-designed annual report serves as an excellent promotional tool for your business. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about annual reports, including how to create them, what you should include, and loads of design top tips. So just before we get started, I'm curious. Have you created an annual report before, or is this your first time? Leave us a comment below to let us know if you're an annual report veteran, or if you're a complete beginner. Now, annual reports are something that you've probably heard of, but you might not think that they can be interesting and engaging. You're probably picturing some boring, long document, but I'm here to tell you that's not the case. I'm going to show you loads of visually engaging annual reports and tell you how to create an annual report that wows your viewers. All of the examples I'm going to show you are actually templates from Vengage. Vengage is a really easy to use drag and drop editor, so even if you're not a designer, you can make a beautiful annual report. I'll pop a link in the bio below so you can check those all out. So let's get started with a big one. What is an annual report? An annual report is an in-depth, comprehensive report that tracks your business's key successes and key metrics from the past year. You usually produce an annual report around the end of the year or around the end of the tax year. Think of it this way, an annual report is the key opportunity to tell your business's story. It's meant to provide shareholders, investors, donors, and other interested parties with a key rundown of what you achieved in the last year, as well as the direction for the coming year. It includes things such as overall performance, financial status, and strategic direction. For public companies, basic financial reports are required by law, but most businesses create a more user-friendly, visually engaging report as well. So what is included in an annual report? One of the biggest challenges with annual reports is finding a way to balance the functionality with the practicality. Annual reports typically include information such as your mission statement, an overview of your growth, financially, product-wise, and culture-wise, various business segments, information about the company's directors and executive officers, an overview of impact on specific communities, milestones and success stories. A lot of that might sound like dry information, but it doesn't have to be. If your annual report is visually engaging, it will grab the attention of your readers. So annual re There's a fly. There's a fly. Okay, you can visualize data. Incorporate your branding and reflect your team's personality throughout the design. Okay, so you're probably thinking, how do I create an annual report? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. Annual reports compromise a few core sections. A cover page, a table of contents, a company vision statement, financial highlight, strategy, performance and outlook. The best way to create an annual report is to spend some time gathering all of this information into one place. This will help you so much if you already know where everything is. You can put it all in a Google Drive, you can put it in a Word document, you could even print it out if you wanted, as long as you know where to look for all of the key information. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to create your table of contents. When I'm doing this, I always use my table of contents as an outline. So I'll add notes about what I want to include in each section, just for my own reference. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pick an annual report template. Vengage have a whole bunch of different report templates that you can use, even if you aren't a designer. They're all fully customizable and you can use the drag and drop editor to change the font, the text, the colors, the icons, everything. Once you've gathered your information, written your table of contents, and picked a template, it's time to start writing your report. In other words, how do you make a report look good, but contain all of the practical information in an easy to understand way? You don't just want to have a bunch of text and numbers, because that's not going to keep anybody engaged and it's not going to make anybody want to read it. Here are some annual report design top tips. Let the text influence your design choices. We always say a picture paints a thousand words, but sometimes you can use too many images. Your organisation has such a compelling story to tell that you don't want that to get lost amongst the endless stock photos. It's also worth remembering that this is quite a formal document. Whilst you want it to be visually engaging, it does have a lot of very important information to convey. Use images sparingly, only to accompany and enhance the story that your text is telling. 
For example, this non-profit annual report template puts the text front and centre with bold modern typography. A vibrant gradient coloured background helps to prevent the design from looking stale, especially when paired with a small number of black and white images on the following pages. The overall effect is fresh and modern. Tip number two, highlight the people and places your organisation has impacted. Whether you're a non-profit or a for-profit business, everything you do has an impact on other people. This could be your employees, it could be the people that you work with, it could be the communities that you exist in. One of the most essential inclusions is to tell those people's stories. Use testimonials, quotes and real life stats to help illustrate this. You can always use charts and infographics to visualise your data, but your annual report will have a bigger emotional impact by featuring the real people or communities behind the statistics. Use a variety of different charts to showcase your data. There are a few types of metrics found in most annual reports. Financial highlights, month by month trends, sales breakdown by market, project and product. Your year over year performance. The type of data you're visualizing should determine which sort of chart you use. Let's review the best chart type for each metric. Use big number charts to summarize financial highlights. The financial highlights section of an annual report should summarize the most important facts and figures of the year simply and concisely. The easiest way to show this assortment of different metrics in such a small space is to simply write out those numbers in big, bold text. We call this type of visualization a big number chart. Use line charts to visualize monthly trends. Line charts are the standard display for tracking changes over time, which is essential in an annual report. Investors and shareholders will want to see month-by-month -month trends for all sorts of financial metrics, including sales, profits, margins, and share earnings. Use stacked bar or donut charts to show market composition. Another core component of the finances section of an annual report is market segmentation, which shows the breakdown of annual sales into different categories. Traditionally, sales breakdowns are visualized with pie or donut charts, as a standard method for showing part to whole relationships. But the problem with pie charts is that they're quite difficult to accurately read. Instead, use a stacked bar chart. Use grouped bar charts to visualize year over year performance. The most efficient method for visualizing year over year performance is with grouped bar charts. The side by side bars emphasize the changes from one year to the next. Color code your data to make it easier to scan. Typically, you're trying to pack a lot of information into your annual report, and the readability of this document will have a lot to do with the design. Colour coding your information is a simple way to offer visual cues for your readers to follow. For example, this annual report template uses colours to represent each social media channel. The colours reflect the brand colours of each social media channel, making the meaning easy to recognise for readers. Use contrasting colours to deliver impact and highlight information. For example, Highlight important statistics by putting them in a different colour from the rest of the text. This will help it immediately jump out at readers. We've actually got a video that explains everything you need to know about colour relationships, including contrasting colours. I'll pop a link just there if you want to learn more. Balance your report layout by using columns. Part of the key of creating an effective annual report is finding a good balance between the text and images. Drawing an invisible line down the middle of your page is an easy way to guide your design. Put your chart or photo on one side of the slide and text on the other, and voila! Create a one page to summarize your key metrics. Whilst your full annual report might be pages and pages long, it's a great idea to create a one page summary of all of your key metrics. Pull the most important information and impressive statistics and make that the focus of your one pager. Use an infographic design, data visualizations, charts, icons, and bold colors. Don't forget all of the examples that I've shown you are templates that you can create with Vengage. Links in the bio if you want to see them. We've also got a blog post with way more annual report examples, top tips, best practice, you name it. I'll pop the link to that in the bio below so definitely check that out. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Vengage for more helpful design tip guides.